Cleaning and sanitizing or disinfecting are important for removing both visible debris and also killing any microorganisms. Cleaning is defined as removing dirt and debris from a surface. The process involves warm, soapy water followed by a rinse to physically remove these impurities. Cleaning needs to be done before sanitizing or disinfecting. Sanitizing reduces bacteria on the surface to a safe level. Sanitizing is recommended for food contact surfaces. Disinfectant solutions are stronger as they kill almost all of the pathogens. Disinfecting is important to use in areas like bathrooms, door handles, and surfaces that don't have contact directly with food. There are a variety of products that can be used for both sanitizing and disinfecting. Bleach is a common product that can be used for both. The difference is how much bleach is used. The active ingredient in bleach that destroys pathogens is sodium hypochlorite. We can cause a chemical contamination on a surface that may come in contact with food. Many bleach products that state disinfecting on their label are not meant for a food contact surface. One example is chlorine disinfecting wipes. These are not meant to be used on food contact surfaces, and the label clearly states this. Use these on surfaces that will not come in contact with food, or be sure to use a clean water rinse following its use. Do not use bleach that is scented, concentrated, or a gel solution. Be cautious, it is easy to grab bleach that is too low of a concentration of sodium hypochlorite or not intended for sanitizing at all. You might find bleach that clearly states on the label that its purpose is for deodorizing or whitening laundry, not for cleaning or sanitizing. To make a sanitizing solution from bleach, the goal is to achieve a concentration that will destroy bacteria and viruses, but also not be too strong. A solution that is too weak will not be effective. A solution that is too strong can cause a reaction or illness or leave a chemical residue. It is important to follow guidelines for mixing a solution. The best way to know if you've mixed a solution to the proper concentration is to use test strips. Ideally, a bleach solution should be 50 to 100 parts per million for a food contact surface. Most bleach products are found to be 7.25 to 8.25% sodium hypochlorite and the correct formula would be one teaspoon of bleach per gallon of water. Note, this is not much. The solution should not have a strong bleach odor. If you use chemicals other than bleach, use test strips specific to that chemical. For further information on how to mix varying concentrations, please refer to MSU Extension's Safe Sanitizing and Disinfecting Fact Sheet found on the Publications tab of our Safe Food and Water page. Thank you.